We've been getting a lot of really interesting feedback from the disease delusion. And one of the areas that seems to be most interesting to the reader has to do with this dietary fat question. What is the story about dietary fats? Are they good, bad, or indifferent? Well, we certainly know that they're the most calorie-rich form of the macronutrients, about nine calories per gram, and a lot of energy is compressed into the fat molecule. But we also recognize that they come in different families. They come in saturated and unsaturated and monounsaturated. So we have polyunsaturated, monounsaturated, and saturated. And within the saturated fat family, we have three subclasses. And those are the long chain saturated fatty acids, like stearic acid, and the medium chain uh, saturated fatty acids, like caprylic acid, like you find in coconut oil. And then the short chain fatty acids, like butyric acid, that you find in, um, in, in certain types of oils, but generally these are uh, fats that are broken down by metabolism, like from gut bacteria. So you can see there's a, quite an array, in fact, literally thousands of different fatty acid molecules that then relate to dietary fats. Now, how do we make this story simple? We make this story simple by saying that there are certain types of these fatty acid families that appear to be more problematic relative to the body's ability to metabolize, ingest, digest, and excrete waste products without any um, adverse effects and deposition into tissues in such a way that it would create harm. The long chain fatty acids uh, of the saturated family are generally considered to be some of the more problematic fatty acids when consumed in excess amounts. They're also carriers of other things that come along with them, like uh, toxic uh, uh, fat-soluble chemicals often reside in foods associated with the saturated long-chain fatty acids. So uh, hormones and pesticides and things of that nature can be transported along with those long-chain saturated fatty acids. The shorter chain uh, fatty acids, as I said, um, have more beneficial effects. Medium chain triglycerides and medium chain fatty acids, like caprylic acid, tend to go directly into the uh, uh, metabolism in the mitochondria, the energy powerhouse of the cell. So they have a, a beneficial energy giving effect without the deposition into tissues and storage as do some of these uh, longer chain saturated well, fatty acids. So you notice that I'm saying that this is a lot more complicated than just saying is fat good or is fat bad. That tends to overly simplify and reduce to, um, reduce to a simplicity and reduce actually to the understanding point of how fats actually work in the body. We could use a similar argument as it relates to car carbohydrate as well, because we know there are different forms of carbohydrate. Uh, so what I'm really trying to get you to understand is that we don't take a position in the book, uh, The Disease Delusion, around a macronutrient being good or bad, carbohydrate, fat, or protein. What we really talk about is the individual constitution of those principles within those families and how they influence human physiology. And in general, in fat, the long chain saturated fatty acids in excess are difficult to metabolize, difficult to transport, and have a greater adverse impact upon cellular physiology than the shorter chain, long chain fatty acids uh, like uh, caprylic acid and or EPA, DHA, oleic acid, or even the uh, alpha linolenic acid found in flaxseed oil. So that's kind of where we stand on this uh, in, in a broad summary. They're not good and bad fats, but rather what we're talking about is the way that they're metabolized and managed in the body with individual unique physiology in the complex diet uh, without labels that um, kind of lead to simplicity of misunderstanding rather than clarity. So what should you do? Uh, my feeling is we stay away from the long chain saturated fats to the extent possible. We try to stay with the vegetable oil fats and oils that are more liquid at room temperature. And we try to stay with uh, things that are medium chain triglycerides that feed into energy uh, economy more effectively than the long chain saturated fatty acids. That's the story for today.